not just power problems. Buildings in Grass Valley were red flagged today because of the heavy snow loads. And something that could be made worse by the rain that's now falling. CBS 13's Madison Keevy is live with a look at the conditions. Hi, Madison. Hi, Marley. Yeah, the caution tape signals the danger and just how much weight can cause roofs to cave in. That's what happened here. But the example is really what's out on the ground outside of this building. This snow was shoveled off the roof earlier. There have been about four hours of rain on it, and it's turned to a very heavy slush. Not good when it comes to being on a roof. It's taken the wind out of our sails a little bit, but um, we're coping with it just like everybody else is coping it with it. Outside Grass Valley has been hit by winter storms. Enough snow on top of this building to crack a beam and cause a partial collapse. Nearly a dozen businesses closed and red tagged. One of them, Tess's kitchen store. As retailers, we've all been pivoting since COVID hit 2020. This is just one more pivot and one more opportunity to make lemonade out of lemons. One of the store's two locations red tagged and closed due to a partial roof collapse. Outside, the race to remove what built up on top. Our concern is with the combination of the snow melt and the rain at the same time, we need to make sure our you know, storm drain systems are, are running properly and operating open and can handle the, you know, the amount, of, amount of rain. It'll be a few more days before the city's in the clear and the red tags are removed. The building where Tess's kitchen store is, is already been shored up. In the meantime, the store's owner says she's looking forward for spring to come and fast. Lots of rabbits, lots of flowers, lots of Easter product to select from. Yeah, we're a few days away from rabbits and flowers, but I love the willingness to hope for spring. I mean, this snow here in the parking lot is exactly what Grass Valley city leaders tell me they want to see, because if it's on the ground, that means it's not sitting on top of the roofs of buildings and won't cause any major issues when it comes to collapses as we get more rain on top of what's already been feet of snow. Yeah, great perspective there, and definitely that's what we want to see it on the ground, right. not on, on top of those rooftops. Yeah. Thank you, Madison.